everybody, Casey here, and welcome to Home Cooking. By now, I guess you know my family are a bunch of bean lovers. So, can you say red beans and rice? Well, that's what I say, and today, I'm gonna show you how to cook up some of the best red beans and rice you ever tasted. If you wanna know how I do it, stay tuned. Grab a bit of this and a dash of that. Mix it up a little. That's okay, we have one whole smoked turkey leg diced up. I have our wonderful trinity of onion, bell pepper, and celery. Of course, a fresh sprig of rosemary, a pound of small red beans olive oil, chives, Creole seasoning, black pepper, garlic powder, butter that makes all things better, Lowry seasoned salt, salt and eight oz meat tenderizer. Now, I'm gonna put a tablespoon full of olive oil in my cook pot. I'm going to heat that up real nice on a high heat. And then I'm gonna test to see if this oil is ready for browning my turkey leg. So let's get a little water. If the water's dancing in that pot, then you know it's hot enough. And yeah, it's doing a dance. So let's go over here and get this diced up turkey leg. And we're gonna pour it into the cook pot and we're gonna saute it. We don't wanna cook it, we just wanna brown it and start getting those flavors, seasoning up that olive oil, cause what we're doing is making a base for the beans. Now let's add our trinity into the middle of that. And I'ma tell you, it's starting to smell good already and it's not even cooked. Let's stir that up. And now we are going to add some beef hot links I'm gonna dice up. Some people like to use andouille sausage. I like the beef hot links. So I'm gonna get them in here and add more to that flavor. And let's keep stirring because we don't want burning, we just want browning. Now let's add those dry ingredients we talked about earlier. And we're gonna do about a teaspoonful of each one of those ingredients. And we're gonna stir, stir, stir because we want that base to be flavorful and delicious for those red beans. Okay, so now finally we're gonna add two cups of water and we're gonna stir that all together and this is what you're gonna get. Looks like a very, very flavorful broth. Now we're going to bring this to a rapid boil and for those of you who've been watching me for a while, you know what that looks like and for those of you who don't, Oh, but before we do, let's get our friend, the Rosemary, in there because she's missing her family. And this is what a rapid boil looks like. And boy, the flavors that are coming out that pot. I can't begin to tell you. Now we're gonna bring it down a little because what we wanna do is get this turkey pretty much cooked. Now let's get the top back on this pot, close it up, so we can speed up the process of this cooking, holding that heat in. And we're gonna go over here and address these red beans, which we're gonna make sure there's no gravel, no dirt, no imperfect beans, because I don't like that, and you don't either. And once we do that, we're gonna rinse these beans thoroughly and prepare them for our quick soak. Now, quick soak happens when you get these beans inside a pot, and you're going to put about four cups of water in the pot with the beans. And once you do that, it's gonna kinda look like this. You're gonna get this pot with this water and beans on your cooktop and you're gonna put it on a high heat and you're gonna boil them for about two minutes. Once they boil for about two minutes, you're gonna cover them up and you're gonna sit them to the side and let them soak for about an hour. And the reason for the soaking process is to kind of help it cook through, because the beans are hard. It's gonna look like that once they soak properly for an hour. They're gonna kind of swell up. Now it's time for a ceremony, because we have our wonderful base broth still cooking, and we're gonna marry those beans with the broth and we are going to cook them together until the beans are tender but firm and we have a nice gravy. Let's stir it all together and we are gonna turn our 
heat up to a medium high and finish the cooking process. Let's get that where we need it to go. Mm-hmm, just like that. All right. That's where you want it to be. It's starting to thicken up. And we're going to add what? The butter that makes all things better. And we're going to sweeten that up with my sweetener choice, some Splenda. You can use the sweetener of your choice. Let's get that all in there. We're going to mix this all together. And trust me, the results are going to be magnificent. Yeah, let's get a top on that, finish cooking that up. And when you open it up, this is what you have. The finished product, these beans are intact. They're moist, they're tender, but they're not mushy. That turkey has shredded itself throughout those beans and that beef hot link is just screaming to be at. Let's plate that puppy up. And of course I gotta put me some fresh green onions on there over some nice white rice. And I'm gonna pick that spoon up and I'm going to be in love. Oh yeah. Come on to my mouth. It's so good. It's so good. Oh, it's so good. The flavors, that Creole taste. Oh, I can't wait to get some more up in my mouth. Mm, mm, mm. And that cornbread ain't gonna hurt me none either. If you enjoyed this video as much as I enjoyed making it, hit that like button. Don't forget to ring that notification bell because you don't want to miss these recipes. Trust me. And as always, subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. Until next time. You know what I wish you, love, peace, and a whole lot of joy. See you on the flip side. Bye-bye. That's no good day.